Okay, I'm going to do a review of the movie Twilight. I actually saw it on the midnight release, but I'm a grad student and I don't always have time to post these things. So I went with some friends uh, the moment it came out. Not really because I'm a squealing fan girl, as I've established before, but it sounded like it would be fun. I like the idea of midnight releases because it means that a lot of other people are excited about the movie, and that usually helps the movie be better even if it's not the best movie. So, I thought it'd be a fun experience. And it was fun. It was fun going out. Um, but the movie itself, eh, I feel like the beginning, and I just should interject here, um, there are spoilers. So if you don't want to hear those, uh, don't watch this. But yeah. In the beginning, Bella um, is talking about dying for someone she loves. Now she does do this in the beginning of the book, but the beginning of all Stephanie Meyer's books start with some sort of action scene um, that, that occurs later on in the book. So I thought that the way they did this made it seem more melodramatic than it needed to be because it looks like she just says she's dying for one it doesn't actually even make any sense because she hasn't really met Edward yet um, her voiceover is her carrying a cactus who is she dying for um, is she saying that she's dying because she has to go to a rainy place in the middle of nowhere and that will kill her or is she dying because she has to leave her mother? Is she is this supposed to relate to foreshadowing or just be confusing? I, I didn't get it. Um, so there was too much of a voiceover from Bella because that was what I was hoping would be better about the movie because if you don't hear what Bella is thinking, she's actually quite a tolerable character. You can think that, you know, she has a really good reason for the things that she does which she doesn't. Um, at least not most of them. Um, you don't need to add melodrama to a story like this uh, with the random images of Bella and Edward in some sort of 1900s, early 1900s vampire movie where she's wearing some sort of, I don't know, nice dress and she's on a couch and you're going to drink her blood. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's really not necessary. The story's melodramatic enough. You really need to downplay that more than you need to upgrade it. Uh, and the music was either off or it wasn't that impressive. Like with Harry Potter, you have Hedwig's theme, which is iconic and possibly one of the most beautiful pieces of music ever to be written and I will probably get lots of music fans angry at me because of this, but it is. It's a very, very good piece of music and it represents Harry Potter perfectly. Whereas there was really nothing music-wise that grabbed me in this film. I don't even remember what Bella's lullaby sounded like and I'm pretty good at remembering musical themes, so that's kind of bad. And the rest of the music I just remember thinking that just didn't sound quite right. It wasn't completely off. It wasn't horrible. It just wasn't quite right. Um, so, all in all, I wasn't that impressed with the movie. It was also pretty awkward feeling, despite the fact that they followed the scenes in the book rather closely. You just feel awkward for the characters. It's something like a comic book. Like, when you look at the characters in a comic book wearing those funny costumes, in the comic book, it doesn't look weird. But if you put a real person in spandex, it looks weird. So, I think in my head, I was able to downplay how melodramatic some of the stuff was. But at the same time, I really don't think there was a scene in the book where they were staring at each other in a meadow for quite that long. I mean, I know they were in a meadow, but the staring, uh, it's a little too much. Um, so that was not great. However, 
And the big however, I do hope that they make New Moon because I think there's lots of room for improvement. It wasn't that the acting was bad. I think possibly the directing was bad. I don't think the actors are that bad. It wasn't, it didn't seem to me like they were acting improperly so much as they were being told to act a certain way and were simply doing that. Um, unfortunately, it was not the best idea and it didn't work out. But New Moon has more action in it. And once there was action in the story, it turned out to be a better story. So I'm hoping that when they have enough action and since they've already established the world and since they've already stared at each other for 10 minutes in a meadow and been in a tree for another 10 minutes, that we can get past that and get to a more interesting story. And I do have one favorite quote from this movie um, that wasn't in the book, is that Edward is telling Bella how, um, how he can read people's minds and they're in the restaurant that they do go to in the book. And he's pointing to people and he's like, sex, money, sex, money, and then you see this guy dreamily staring off into space and he's like, cat. <laughs> so that was funny. That was funny. Uh, the look wasn't too bad, but they, some of the special effects with the vampires flying around Hopefully they get a little bit more money to make those look a little less cheesy. So, yeah, that's what I think. I still hope they make New Moon, and I'd love to hear what you think, too.